All right, we are going to go over how to write a regex, a comprehensive regex, for a phone number. This is going to cover many, many phone numbers. We're going to start writing our regex based on this particular one right here, and then as we write it, we'll kind of expand on the different options that someone has in writing a phone number. What I mean by options is they could write 123, 123, 4. they could write 123 dot, 123 dot, 123 4. they could write 123 dot, 123 dash, 123 4. whatever. Okay, they can have many, many different options of writing phone numbers. Let's get started. So, we need to start first with this first parenthesis. Now, the parenthesis is optional. It does not have to be there. So, in order to start with the parenthesis, you can't just write a parenthesis because the parenthesis is used in regex. It's capturing parentheses. It's actually something you need. So, in order to use it to actually match with it, you have to escape it. So, we will start by escaping it with the slash. Then, we said it's optional. So we need a modifier, meaning a question mark. What I mean by a question mark, it says 0 or 1. That's what a question mark means, 0 or 1. So we're saying 0 or 1 parentheses. Okay? Next thing, three numbers. Okay? Three numbers. So that's backslash D for digits, and then in curly braces, the number 3. This says give me three digits, and only three digits. No more, no less. Okay? The next thing is a clothing closing parenthesis. Same thing as the other parenthesis. You can't just write a parenthesis. You have to escape the parenthesis. And it's optional. We may may not be there. That's a question mark. The next thing is a space. Okay? So in our case, it's just backslash s. However, the space may not be there. So question mark. But we may not have a space. We may have a dash or a dot. So you could have a dash, question mark, it may not be there, and we can have a dot, but again, a dot is used in regex, so we can't just write dot, we need backslash dot, and that's another question mark, because it may not be there as well. This is okay to do, but this is actually really redundant. We've got three, three occurrences, all with the same modifier, so backslash, at, s, dash, and dot, they all have the same exact modifier. Whenever you see that, that means you can wrap this all in square brackets, meaning a character class. We're going to put all three of these now in a character class and just end it with a single question mark instead of doing these three redundant like this. Let's delete all this, okay, we'll make a character class and we'll say dash dot backslash space and note the dot does not need to be escaped when it's inside of a character class and we'll just put that question mark here. Now what's nice about this is it's the exact same thing as we saw before except it's a lot shorter, easier to read. So, now that we've taken care of the space, we have three more digits. So, backslash D, curly brace three, three more digits. Now that we have the exact same thing here as we did here, so literally we can just copy and paste this right here, and there we go. That's that space. And now, four digits, so backslash D for digits, curly brace four for four digits exactly. Let's check this out and see if it works. So, I'm in my regex evaluator for... Um, a Firefox plugin, it's free. I've got a parentheses phone number down here. I will paste in our regex and la di da, it actually found it. Wonderful. Um, and we can actually play with this a little bit. So we can get rid of this dot and it still works and space and it still works. If we had two spaces, it won't work because we didn't account for two spaces. You don't want two spaces. Not valid phone number. Okay? We could delete this space. We could delete these parentheses. We could have a dot. We, oops, not a dot comma. We could have a dot and we can have a dot, and see it's all working. We can have dashes, okay? So it's all working really well. And there's one last thing that phone numbers have that some people might type in, and that's the uh, the country code, the plus one or plus 44 or something like that from the beginning of it, okay? So let's take that into account next, okay? So let's say we're doing plus one in this. Let's say this is our new phone number. Obviously, if we did that right now, plus one, um, it's going to match just our phone number and not the whole thing. So if we were take, if we were validating it, it would it would validate, but then we wouldn't get the whole thing. So we actually need to validate this thing in the beginning. Okay, we don't want to just ignore it. And actually, what we really should do is start from the beginning. So <clears throat> we really want to start from the very beginning with a uh, a caret and end at the very end with a question mark and saying this is exactly our whole thing. So we because we right now in our current regex we don't want this plus one to validate because we haven't accounted for it so we really should start with a bracket and end with a question mark like I just did that way this is invalid but if I get rid of it now it's valid again okay again what that what I just did is I said this is the start of my regex and this is the end of my regex 
So now that plus one is invalid. Let's actually account for the plus one now. So we're in the beginning of our regex, and we can have a plus, maybe. But again, the plus is used in regex, so we need to escape it. So we have maybe a plus, and then we have maybe some digits. Okay, maybe some digits. And we don't know how many digits, so we can put a dot, meaning zero or more, of digit. Okay, you know what? I'm going to move this down to the next line because it's in the way right now. And that's the character class. That's the beginning of the input. So we have maybe we have maybe a plus, and then we have zero or more digits because country codes can have zero, one, two, or three or more. I don't actually know how many they can have, so I'm just putting a dot instead because I don't I didn't look it up yet. Um, so so we have a plus maybe, and then digits maybe, and then we have a space maybe. Okay. Now you're probably asking why can't we wrap this? in a character class, and that's because these are in progression. They're not or, or, or. It's this followed by this followed by this, possibly. Okay? So this is actually the plus one part right here. So if we actually cut this, so let's actually undo. So we'll go back to the beginning here, add our beginning of line, and then actually put the rest of our regex in there. There we go. So now I can copy this and paste it in here, and uh, it didn't like that. What didn't it like? Let's see. Uh, there we go. Okay, <clears throat> we needed the we needed the back we needed backslash d question mark not dot. So now we're saying uh, we could have a plus followed by a digit followed by a backslash s. So if I actually put in my plus one now, it's going to work just fine. And if I put in plus uh, oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Okay, you can't question mark means zero or one. We need potentially um, three, right? So zero, it may be more than three, I'm not sure, but zero comma three. So I could say plus 44, and it's fine. I could say plus one, and it's fine. I could say plus one, and this is in parentheses, and that's fine. So now you can see I've taken into account the plus one or plus 44, followed by a space, maybe not, with the parentheses, maybe not, with the dashes or dots, maybe not, or spaces, maybe not. Okay, so this regex accounts for a lot of different phone numbers. Now, what it doesn't do, which is okay with me, I'm fine, but what it doesn't do is if you have one parenthesis, okay, it's okay. This is technically not really a valid phone number, but that's okay for what, what our purposes are doing. That's a lot more complicated regex than what we just did. So this is uh, just to kind of walk you through how you would write a phone number regex. Again, breaking it into pieces, <clears throat> we've got the uh, this is the this is the plus one part, and then this is the let's see right here parenthesis, right? So you've got a parenthesis and then some numbers and a parenthesis. So that is the um, this is the first part of the phone number, and then you've got the spacing. So this is a possible spacing separator, and then you've got the next part. Okay. Uh, so second part. Then you've got possible spacing separator. Really? Am I spelling spacing wrong? Is that an E in it? Whatever. <laughs> and then we've got our third part. Okay? So this is the breakdown of the regex we just wrote. This is the plus one and say or plus 44. Okay? Including the space after it. And then we've got the first part of the phone number with potential parentheses, and then we've got potential spacing, and then the second part, and then more potential spacing, and then the third part. And that is how you would write a phone number regex.